Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the conformation of cyclohexanes. We're going to have a look at the uh, most stable form in this example, which is the Cher conformation, and we'll compare that with the Bort conformation later on. So the Cher conformation, basically, all the conformations are based on the tetrahedral nature of the carbon, which is an sp3 carbon, so it's tetrahedral, and we'll see how that influences the energetics of the whole conformation. If we're going to draw a six-membered ring, then we've got to apply this parallel rule. So if you see how I've drawn it here, we've got the uh, two black lines are parallel, the two blue lines are parallel, and the two green lines are parallel. If you can draw it like that, then you'll, you'll be onto a winner from the start. Second thing to do is put all the axial protons in, and they alternate between up and down, up and down, up and down. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to apply all the equatorial uh, hydrogens, put them in. And you'll see that they um, also fo follow this uh, parallel rule. And I'll just draw the last one, and then then we can uh, show that that one's parallel to that one, that one's parallel to that one, and so on. So this all is derived basically from the sp3 nature of the carbon atom, and trying to maintain this 109.5 degrees. This is a minimum conformation simply because no of the none of the hydrogens sorry, are actually interacting. There's no steric hindrance in this one. And we'll see in the other conformations we get powerful um, steric interaction. So that's it for now. 